I love camera cages. I use them all the time in the studio, but I've been using one lately that I think is the best one yet for the Fujifilm X-T4 camera. Let's roll that intro and get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to Paldatech. Today we're talking about the new Falcam F22 quick release kit system for Fujifilm's X-T4 camera. They also make one for the GFX50 and 100S cameras as well. First, a disclaimer. Ulanzi chose wisely when they reached out to my channel to see if I wanted to review this unit or not. They are not, however, sponsoring this video. They did not pay me and they did not get to have any input into this video's creation. They did, however, offer to provide a $10 discount to my channel viewers with a special code that I will put down in the description below. Now, when you get right down to it, there's really only two places that you can attach items to your Fujifilm camera. The one quarter inch screw hole at the bottom and the hot shoe mount at the top. And you need to be very careful when attaching anything heavy to the hot shoe mount as it's very easy to bend it or yank it off say you have an external monitor attached and you bend it this way not that i would know anything at all about that damaging components on the camera <laughs> Okay, moving on. So given this limitation, if you wanna add filmmaking accessories in and around your camera, you're gonna need a cage. But cages are not only good for just adding accessories, but they're also good for attaching handles. By using handles, you can get smoother footage, especially when shooting at lower angles. Now cages are designed per camera. For example, a cage for the X-T4 won't fit an X-T3 and so forth. Since for example, the battery compartment door is in different places places on each camera. Also, different cages will be sized on whether or not you're using the optional battery grip or not. Now, the Falcam F22 kit in the box includes the cage itself, two quick release side handles, one quick release top handle, a dual two-way fluid head, and some adapter plates and bases and screws and that sort of thing. Now you can purchase many of these items separately, but this thing really shines when it comes together as a complete kit. The cage itself is made from anodized aluminum alloy and stainless steel, and it just feels awesome. Look at how smooth and curved it is, you see that? It's covered with multiple 1 quarter 20 and 3 8 16 threads all around it. It also has a cold shoe mount right at the top as well. Although it's solid and well built, it is fairly light and weighs in at about 200 grams. On the bottom, it also has an Arca Swiss mount so that you can quickly attach it to the top of a tripod without having to add an additional tripod mount. So attaching the cage to the X-T4 camera is really simple. Simply push the X-T4 through the cage, just like this. And the unit comes with a little screwdriver that you can use to tighten it. Once attached, this thing is firm, solid, fits all the way around it perfectly. And as I said before, what's great about a camera cage is the fact that you can add accessories to it and not have to worry about damaging the camera. So for this setup, let's add an external microphone, an external monitor, and a light all to the same rig, as well as a couple of handles to have better ergonomics. What's great about this cage is it has a whole inner locking system. So for example, you can attach this little mount right here to the side of the cage and then quickly snap on a handle. Just like that. You don't need to tighten any screws or adjust anything. You press in this button right here. It snaps on and off like that, that quickly. Okay, we got one handle on one side. I'll go ahead and attach the handle on the other side. There, just like that. And it lays down perfectly. Okay, we've got the handles attached. Now let's attach a top handle with an external monitor onto it. This top handle that comes with the kit is awesome. It can be attached and manipulated in so many different ways with a quick snap. I'll go ahead and attach it right to the top. There are three different positions. You can put it on the right, the middle, or the left. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on while at the same time you press in the button and then let go when you wanna lock it. Just like that. And right here is where we're gonna attach our external monitor. Here's the external monitor. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this Falcam tilt accessory right here that comes with the unit. You simply put this on, just like you would with anything else. Look, it's on. Look, you see how fast that was? And then you can tilt this forward or backward and you mount the monitor to it. Now, what's nice about these little mounts is that they have two little holes. You see these right here? and Falcan includes these tiny little screws with it. You attach the screws to the top and they give you this little tool to tighten them in. So it looks like this, you see that? And the reason for that is very simple. If you use a standard one that doesn't have those two little pin screws, watch. Even though you tighten it in, right? This has a tendency to turn, you see that? No matter how hard you tighten this thing, it's still going to turn. It doesn't stay put. 
very frustrating, okay? <laughs> but you take this little guy right here, you see these two small holes right here? This is not going to rotate whatsoever. And once you have this on here, you're done. You never have to worry about it and you just slide it on and it locks just like that. And you can rotate it around like this or forward or back and you can tighten the resistance of the rotation using this little adjustment knob and there's an adjustment knob on the top as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach the microphone to the built-in cold shoe mount right on the cage itself. Fits on fairly easy, no problem there. Now let's put a light on there. I'm just using a small aperture RGB light, but the important thing to note is that I'm using one of the Falcam mounts attached to it. I could just slide it on, boom, and mount it right here if I wanted to. But I'm gonna use the dual two-way fluid head just to demo it for you and bring the light up a little bit higher. This is actually a wonderful little fluid head and you loosen and tighten it using this nice big handle right here. It'll bend into any position that you want and then just simply tighten it. And this thing's not going anywhere. It it's tight. On it goes, just like that. Once I have it on, I can pretty much turn this and rotate it any position I want. Let's go ahead and attach the light to it. And like everything else, it just snaps right on. There, <laughs> I mean, look at that. And there you have it. We've got a full rig ready to go. It has great ergonomics from the side handles. It feels very smooth and has these indentations right here for your fingers. And that's great if you need to carry the camera around, pick it up, put it down, whatever. And with the built-in plate on the bottom, the whole thing can attach to a tripod in seconds. Check this out. Done. Have a look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? And when you're all done, taking the accessories off is faster than even putting them on. Just press the button, out it comes. One, two, three. Oh, let's take the handles off as well. And four, done. Even the top handle. And now you're back to a regular cage with a small profile. All right, so there's a couple of things about this that could be improved. The first is what's included in the kit, this tiny flimsy little screwdriver doohickey. Eh. I mean, it gets the job done, but it's like one of those Ikea tools. The problem, and this is one issue that I have, is that the position and the size of the screw is such that you cannot use larger flathead screwdrivers. For example, I've got this little small rig screwdriver toolkit, okay, that I carry with me and use all the time, but the size of the screwdriver won't work. You see that? There's not enough room to clear it. I can't use this. I've got to use a screwdriver like this to be able to fit it in here so that I could tighten it. So that's one suggestion I have for the next version of this is to be able to have a screw that you can use a larger size or regular, you know, flat screwdriver for without having to get something a little bit longer and, you know. And while we're talking about tools, what would be really nice would be a way to attach the included screwdriver somewhere to the cage so that it's always with you and you're not having to carry it around as a separate component. If there was a way to do it on the cage, I couldn't find it. You can do this already on some small rig cages. For example, this one right here, you store the tool, boom, just like that. Or like this, for example. It has a magnetic holder, so the screwdriver just stays in place and it's always with you wherever you are. And as I said, the only other thing has to do with the flaps on the X-T4, and I am gonna put the blame squarely on Fuji for this one. Okay, so you see how the flappy doors on the X-T4 kind of get in the way when you're trying to attach the HDMI cable. They have got to get rid of these flimsy little flappy doors and put on a solid door that you can remove. All in all though, the Falcam F22 is a wonderful quick release kit system for Fujifilm's X-T4 camera. It's well-built, very versatile, and incredibly easy to attach and detach various components. I would definitely recommend considering this unit if you're looking for a cage quick release system for your X-T4 or your GFX 50 or 100S camera. Well, that wraps it up for today's video and I want to thank you for watching and I hope it's been helpful or at least entertaining. And if it has, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be back in a new video very soon. Take care.